Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to model physical members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using STAD Pro Connect Edition. Over the next series of videos, we will introduce you to the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, walk you through the graphical in user interface, and show you a variety of tools of generating members and nodes within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. To wrap up this series of videos, we will also go ahead and bring you back to the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler and show you how you can control that creation. So let's go ahead and get started. And to begin this course, we're going to launch STAD Pro Connect Edition by double clicking on the icon on your desktop. Upon launching STAD Pro, you will be prompted to select your license configuration. Here, for today's training session, we will be using the basic STAD Pro license. If you would like to change any of your license configuration, you can go ahead and do that at this point. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Continue button to then enter the STAD Pro Start screen. Now before we begin, let's go ahead and introduce you to STAD Pro and go over some basic program configuration. Now STAD Pro is a general purpose structural analysis and design program with applications primarily in the building industry. We can design commercial buildings, bridges and highway structures, industrial structures, chemical plant structures, dams, retaining walls, turbine foundations, culverts, and so on. Now before we go ahead and get started by creating a new model in STAD Pro Connect Edition, let's go over some program configuration. Now here you can see when I've launched the program, I'm sent to the STAD Pro Start screen. I don't currently have a particular model open. This is the window I see before I create anything or open an existing model. So I'm going to start by taking a look at some program configuration by clicking on the Configure option from the Start screen. Now upon selecting this option, we are going to be given the application configuration. Here you can set any general type of options uh, that are available within the program. Now there's a couple key pieces of information I want to point your attention to within this dialog. The first is the base unit configuration. This will dictate the system of units that will be used internally to store numerical values during calculation. You can select either the English or metric unit system. And for this training session, I'm going to go ahead and select the English system. The next piece of information I want to point your attention to is the global axis orientation. This will dictate the direction of the vertical axis in STAD Pro. The default orientation for the global coordinate system is that the Y axis points in the vertical direction and the X and Z are horizontal. Now you do have an option to specify the vertical axis as the Z axis, but this option will eliminate the ability to use some other functions in the program, such as the wind load generator. Now for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and keep the default vertical axis as the Y axis. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click OK. In addition to that, you are also, once you launch the program, able to modify your license configuration. As mentioned earlier, we will be using the basic STAD Pro license for today's session. To change your license configuration once the program is open, you can go ahead and click on this license option and change your selections. If you make any changes, this will prompt the program to go ahead and restart itself with those changes reflected. Now at this point, we are ready to go ahead and create a new model in STAD Pro Connect Edition. So let's go ahead and select the new option. Here we're going to name our structure. I'm going to go ahead and call mine P members. And we can enter its location. In addition to that, we can select our structure type. And let's go over uh, what these two areas will mean, analytical versus physical. 
Now the analytical workflow will be used to model your structure using analytical elements. The analytical model is a finite element model of the structure, which is typically processed directly by the analysis and design engine. In addition to that, new in STAD Pro Connect Edition is the ability to use a physical modeling workflow. This would be used to model your structure in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using physical members. The physical model is used to draw structural elements as they are physically constructed. The program will then decompose this into an analytical model, which is passed to the STAD Pro Analysis and Design Engine when you run your model. For this training session, we're going to be using a physical modeling workflow. Next, we're going to go ahead and select the units that we'll be using throughout the session, and we will be using the English unit system. Now you can add an optional title to your structure and you can start with a model seed file if you would like. Now what a seed file is in STAD Pro Connect Edition is it's basically a temple template file. It's a STAD Pro model that you've already added some information to and I would typically use this for common data that would, might be applicable to multiple models. Now, since the goal of our training session today is to create a model from scratch, we're going to go ahead and not use the model seed option. Now that we are done entering our input parameters, let's go ahead and click on the create icon, which will send us directly over to the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. Now that we've entered the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, let's go over a few key areas of the graphical user interface. At the top of the screen, you're going to find your ribbon toolbar. All of the tools and icons that are available within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler are available in the ribbon toolbar and are organized in certain areas. A few key tabs within the ribbon toolbar I want to point you out to you. Let's go ahead and select the spreadsheet tab. The spreadsheet tab is how we're going to navigate through the graphical user interface and access different spreadsheets. The spreadsheet will be used to enter data into the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In the center of the screen, you're going to find your view window. This will show you your three-dimensional structural model as you create it in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In the bottom right-hand corner of this window, you can also use your view controls to basically zoom in and out of your model geometry, as well as view different perspectives. At the bottom of the screen, you're going to find your output panel, which will reveal messages and warnings or any errors that are detected through the modeling process. Let's go ahead and also take a look at the top of the screen, where you'll be able to find your quick access toolbar, which will allow you to select some frequently used tasks within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. Now that we have finished creating our new model in the STAD Pro physical modeler, we're ready to start the modeling process, which will begin by creating nodes and members, which we'll show you how to do in the next series of videos. At this point, what I'd like to do is talk about the agenda for those next videos and also show you the completed model that we'll be working towards through the end of this series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close down the model that I have open right now. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my finished model. Now this was a model that was created with a STAD Pro Physical Modeler. And what you're going to notice is that when you open up a model that was created with a STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you'll be immediately directed over to that area of the program. Now here what you can see is you can see the finished model that we'll be working towards. This model contains nodes and physical members. And we're going to use a variety of techniques in order to create this geometry. We're going to show you how to use all the spreadsheets through the program. We're going to show you how to use the spreadsheet tools. We will show you how to create members. And we will also show you how to edit your structural geometry using a variety of techniques. Finally, towards the end of this series of videos, we will also show you how to send your model data back over to the analytical modeler in preparation for analysis and design. We will also show you how to access the analytical modeling properties so that you can control that data transfer. 
At this point, we're ready to go ahead and begin our model, which we will do in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.